Recycled aggregates made from the concrete are good enough for most applications up to M25 grade for flagging concrete, paver blocks, uh, masonry blocks, etc. Now, we have been in this field for of uh, recycling, construction and demolition waste for the last two years. We have been focusing on different aspects of the CND waste. And now again we have taken one more step forward because the aggregate markets are bad and we are finding it difficult to move the recycled aggregates, concrete aggregates of 20 mm and 12 mm. We are making the 20 mm and 12 mm by recrushing it into finer grids which could replace sand and has equivalent strength to M sand. And could be even more superior in performance when used for mortar and tile laying. This is the finished product, recycled concrete aggregates of 12 mm size that we get after the crushing process. This can be used for block making, granular sub base and as a replacement for regular aggregates in up to 20% in certain strength of concrete up to M20 to M25. This is the 20 mm recycled concrete aggregates that could replace a part of aggregate required for making concrete up to M20 or M25 grade. Besides, the same can be used in granular sub base by mixing it with recycled 20 mm, 12 mm and fines that we get from recycled concrete. market is very unpredictable. It, it is not consistent throughout the year. Uh, construction activity peaks at certain times probably uh, January, February, March, April. That is when most of the offtake takes place and in between once the rainy season starts you need to keep storing the material. It may there will be huge heaps over two three months. We cannot really predict the kind of offtake and a lot of that depends on the cost of the virgin aggregates. The yeah, ban on sand uh, mining in the last one year has resulted in replacement with M sand to a very large extent across Bangalore. And the cost of sand and M sand is also high. So people are finding it affordable to utilize the fines from the concrete crushing for low grade application like laying the paving blocks, curb stones, tiles, etc. The cost of river sand varies from 20,000, 30,000 rupees a truckload to over a lakh depending on the quality that is required. And in certain applications it cannot replace especially in plastering etc. The very fine river sand. But in 95% of the applications you can replace it. So, the cost difference if you would see would range from M sand versus river sand would be M sand may cost you about 30 percent of river sand minimum. So, this is minimum saving of 70 percent. Marketing is not a problem as long as you are able to give a consistent product output. It is only when we start uh, processing all the material that we get, all the mixed material, then nothing goes out. But if you are able to you know segregate and process selectively, then you can be assured of the market. There is, there would not be a dearth of market. M sand is more viable. So, what we have done now is in the last one year since the aggregates are not moving, block plants also are preferring the natural aggregates because of the cost. Costs have come down drastically. We are recrushing the recycled aggregates to get M sand and there we are market, we are selling it at the same cost as M sand because the product is consistent. Because uh, in the previous stage, we have got the recycled concrete aggregates to a certain consistency. And once we make the sand from that consistent 
input, it, it can compete with the MSAN. There is absolutely no problem. Freshly quarried, 40 mm aggregate from freshly quarried stone is brought and mixed with that to make it into GSB which can go for the road layer, below the, below the asphalt, lower, yeah, lower layer, compared to concrete and here the advantage is, see, we, whatever this material is, it would always exceed the strength requirement of the granular sub-base, definitely, so you have no risk. the kind of plastic that comes in the CND waste but by volume it is huge and nuisance value yeah high and the thing is it's that site right from the soap packets to you can find the boots the safety jacket